Good morning, America. Well, it's I'm here in Phoenix, Arizona. It's cold, it's wet, and uh, I'm gonna go visit the homeless today. Take them some uh, plastic bags and see what I can do for them. I'm not a rich man. My riches are in heaven. And uh, my dad taught me principles. He taught me honor. He taught me integrity. He taught me all the qualities that you can't buy with money. And uh, it's sad to see the American people putting more focus on money than they do on the American people. You got media companies that are more concerned about the illegal criminals in America than they are their own citizens. Let that sink in. But you, God's gonna has a special place for these people. They won't go and punish, that's for sure. I grew, I grew up poor. I grew up in Guadalupe, Arizona. And for you guys in Arizona, news media you guys know where Guadalupe is at it's not a very beautiful place and uh, when I was growing up you guys criticized us don't forget about that the companies that you worked for criticized us they thought we were animals living in the conditions that we lived primitive criminals drunks never gave us credit for being a loving family yeah, we got our problems, just like any other community has problems. But we were labeled as one, just like the Democrats labeled us in the 1800s. They took away our land and developed major cities. New York, Boston, just to name a few. few. Houston, San Francisco, LA, and I could go on and on. And then they moved us to a reservation but in the end, we got a casino out of it. Think about that. We lost major cities. We lost oil deposits. We, had, we lost land that had minerals on it that are worth billions and billions of dollars for futures to come. And they gave us a casino and told us, be thankful for what you're getting. And now they're giving the criminal illegals the resources that should be going to the American people. White, black, brown, redskin. They're giving it to them. America, you're gonna fall into the same situation the American Native American Indians fell. And you're gonna be moved into a reservation. Your property will be given to these individuals because they will be in accordance with the Democrats and will do anything they say. So if you're okay with that, be surprised for your children to be living in reservation far, far away from major cities. That's what's coming. And uh, it's sad that we have individuals in our country, American citizens, that will embrace this idea. But keep in mind, these people are not gonna have any mercy for you as well. You guys are gonna be the victims. And when that happens, the American people that you will be slammed in will hate your guts. And you'll be lucky, lucky, if you have a future. And if you do have a future, it's not going to be a pretty one. Because you betrayed the American people. Well, I got to go to, I'm waiting for a friend. We're going to go and, and uh, see what we can do for these individuals that are hurting right now. And like I said, I was born poor. I didn't have anything when I was growing up. So everything that I have nowadays, I'm so thankful to God that he was able to provide me with, with such a wonderful life, a good father and mother, a great history in the Latino community. And uh, for those Latinos que están reportando esto, deben de tener vergüenza ustedes, porque están echando pura mentiras y están destruyendo los Latinos aquí en Estados Unidos. ¿Por qué? Porque ustedes quieren sangre nueva. Los latinos ya no están mirando sus canales. Ya no están mirando los, las, las películas de ustedes. Las, este, las novelas. Porque somos americanos. Y queremos tener más contacto con la gente de este país. Que la gente de otros países. Pero ustedes están por la plata. No están para la gente latina ustedes. Deben de tener vergüenza lo que está pasando ahorita en Estados Unidos. Un día ustedes van a pagar en la presencia de Dios por las mentiras que echaron. 
por las mentiras que le hicieron a la gente latina aquí en Estados Unidos. Los americanos que son ciudadanos de este país, a los latinos que vinieron de otros países por la puerta de enfrente. God bless America.